With us now is Dr. Max Sinater, head of the Brain Research Center at UBC. Welcome, Max. Very nice to be here. Well, thanks for coming. Um, Kelly Watson, our person of the week, he's a, yep. a, a long-haul truck driver, and he yep. loves it. And he says he wants to drive until they take his license away. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him, yeah. yeah. Now, what, what does he have to watch out for? What's going to happen to his brain as he ages that's going to eventually make him have to give up the long-haul route? Yeah. Well, you know, as you're brain ages, um, as the rest of you ages, um, things on average will tend to slowly deteriorate. So you're going to be losing brain cells as you get older. You know, the volume of your brain, the actual physical volume, will shrink as you get older. So that's, that's going to happen. But, you know, you're going to lose various kinds of brain cells. They don't all die off at the same rate. Uh, um, but you know, there are tremendous differences between people. So there's some people where you get more, some people where you get less. Um, and there are many people who are able to retain most of their faculties uh, until well into old age. Just in terms of um, this fellow driving along the highway and yeah. reaction time slowing down yeah. and safety being a That's factor. Right. Well, your, your reaction time will, sl will get worse, you know, because uh, one of the things that um, you know will tend to happen is that the wrapping around the uh, the wires, it's called the myelin, tends to get thinner as you age, and that wrapping around the wires is what mediates high speed transmission within your brain. So it tends to get a little worse. But again, you know, it turns out that pathways that are used a lot. If he's been long haul driving for the last 25 years, chances are those wires are pretty well wrapped at this point. He can lose a tiny layer of wrapping and it probably won't be a problem. And the driving analogy is very apt because you actually create super highways in your brain. If you use pathways a lot, they get faster, they get more robust, uh, they're less vulnerable to uh, damage because they've got safety factors attached to them. So he could be driving a long time. Well, that's, that's inspiring. It's good news. And it is good news. For those of us who want to maximize whatever it is we're doing, I, I guess the thing is you want to keep those brain cells, build brain cells, build, you know, maintain memory. What can people do to ensure that there are many super high, as many super highways as possible? Yeah. Every week, we make a few thousand new brain cells. Every day, actually, we make brain cells. And we make them in a part of your brain that's involved in learning and memory. So that's a good thing. Um, and it turns out you can triple the number of brain cells you make next week by doing one simple thing. And crossword is? puzzle? I don't know. No, it's not crossword puzzles. <laughs> What's interesting is it's physical exercise. So we do these experiments, you know, now we have ways where, in which we can see the baby brain cells, the newbies. And we do experiments where, you know, you take a bunch of rats and you give them, uh, you know, crossword puzzles or you give them social stimulation or you give them, you know, you send them to the gym and you do all those things. And the most important thing turns out to be to send them to the gym, to actually give them physical activity. And that promotes, you can double or triple the number of brain cells you make that week. It's really heartening to know that we can do something that proactively and it's going to have such a massive effect. Thank you for Absolutely. the inspiration. Absolutely. There's one more thing you can do, which is get a very good night's sleep. Studies have now been done to show that if you, for instance, you, know, you teach somebody something and then you sleep deprive them and you see how well they remember the next day. And the answer is they remember a bit worse than somebody who didn't learn. But if you test them three months later, it's a lot worse. Mm, mm. So you can sort of hold it together, you know, and people have stayed up for one night uh, and studied for the exam, they managed during the exam. But ask them three months later how much they remember and the answer is a lot less. Okay, sleep well, sweat like crazy. You got it. Thank you, Max. North of 49, a guide to the rest of your life.